Hello and welcome back to another video guys. Uh, in this video I'm doing a little comparison between these two um, diagnostic tools. So we have the King Bowling K10 and this is the Launch X43 Pro TT. Now they're both as good as each other. Uh, obviously in some cases the King Bowling is better, in some cases the Launch is better. I am going to go through it um, and I will tell you the things that are quite, you know, uh, should we say important to know. In terms of difference so let's open them up first thing first obviously this king bowling does come with um another box i have it's hidden away somewhere which i'll have to find at another time but it comes um with all the obds it's another package that you open like this probably a bit smaller and it has all the obds in there for old school cars and whatnot but in this case we are just going to show you briefly what this box holds and I like the um, style of it, it's quite good. The launch is very similar to the hotel. It's tough. If you ask me in terms of box wise, that box on this one is far better. And the clips are better as well, more solid. Um, so let's open these up. Okay, so here we go. And yeah, that's always good to have really. With the launch, um, as you can see, we've got minimal compared to the K10. I'll be honest, if the launch did offer um, the same as what Care King Boland offers, you'd be looking probably another three, four, 300, 400 pounds more. I think this is roughly around about 700, 800 pounds. Okay, and this one's around about, again, 800, 900 Around that sort of figure depends on the offers they have on, but reality is, what you're getting with this, um, is crazily cheap compared to this one. But we'll move on to that at a later point. So you've got this. Um, this is like your sockets, the Europe type and whatnot. Um, the USB. Um, and this is the two. It is very handy. Solid. And I mean, it is pretty damn solid. I'm, I'm not going to lie to you on that one. It's pretty good. And you've got this one here, which charges. And you've got this one here, the USB. Um, it is just a button there to turn on, uh, as we can see. And you've got a camera. So let me leave this here for now. We'll move on. And the K10, as we can see, um, it is a bit scrambled. I'm sorry about this. It comes with this extender, which has been very useful. I am, um, Ford, Ford cars like uh, your Cougar, your Fiesta, uh, some other model cars as well. I do have trouble plugging this in. It's not easy to slot in. I'm sure it's the same with that one. Um, it's not easy. It's just the way they built it's a bit hard to get in. So this does extend it out quite thin, nice in there, no problem. And the other end obviously goes in here. Um, let's just take this out and let's have a look i have got other other videos as well guys for you guys to look at you know i've done a lot of coding programming with the k10 um i've done zfa gearbox coding bmw that is um i've done a lot of uh bits and bobs with this to be fair i mean i've turned it on i've turned it on so let's see what they're like let this come up this is just going to give us an idea of how quick they do come on um the k10 screen is far bigger than the launch i am going to go through the specs in a second as well um i mean the, the size on the uh k10 is uh, 10 inch and that is 8 inch so the 8 inch is uh, 1280 by 720 and this one's 1280 by 800 you can see the size and it's pretty brilliant especially when you're working on cars uh, you're not having to squint your eye and whatnot. So let's um as as you as you, as you saw, uh, it's both turned on more or less similar time. Um, that's the sort of menu we get on here. That's what you'll have to click on to get onto it. And here you're already on the main menu. Now I'm going to go through them in depth in a second, but let's just look at the box of the K10 and look at the surrounding of what it looks like. So the K10 USB there, and that's your Type C. Okay, and what I like about it, now this is one of my favourite, here. I like it because you can hook it up to the steering wheel when you're doing coding on cars. And believe you and me guys, 
is so handy. Uh, I've used it many times, whereas this doesn't have it. And it's annoying having to hold it like this or in your lap or near the gear. Uh, annoying, if you ask me, annoying. So, this does have it. Now, I have uh, had others. The uh, Autel Ultralight S also had this. And it was a uh, quite a big screen as well on the Autel. But remember, the Autel, if it was sat here, I'll be honest, you'd be talking about three grand, two to three grand minimum. You've got £700 equivalent to the Autel. You've got that, which is also equivalent to this, but this does provide a lot of functions compared to the rest. So we'll go into it now. So this is the whole... This is the back of it with the camera there. Um, again, it is solid. Um, I don't think you'll be able to break it unless you deliberately want to break it. Um, and the rubber on this, it's a different texture compared to this one. I mean, this one's very grippy here. This is as well. Uh, you've got it around the sides. But I like it. Bigger screen. Okay. Let me just move this across to here. Let's pop that. And as you can see, I am quite a bit harsh with it. It doesn't break, which is good news. Uh, moving across, guys. Uh, this is... All right. So, to be fair, it's, they've, uh, I've taken out the uh, other box. But they, I've not opened it. And I'm not going to bother opening it. Because it's very rare I go through these old classic cars. Uh, but as you can see... Um, and you can also look at the vehicles it covers online as well I'm on there. I'll put the links below as you can see guys look, It is a good kit um, Here it is Here's some more for the battery test and whatnot. I am gonna go through them. So and the box Like we said the box is far better on that one than this one. Uh, it's just, just feels a bit cheapish, but it does the job so Jobs are going in that sense. So moving across, um, bringing this back into the game. And I'm going to go through uh, some of the things, some of the main things. Um, as we said, Launch X4, 3 Pro, TT and K10, they're, they're, they're both good stuff. Um, I've done coding programming on both of them. Uh, Launch, as we know, has been out for years and years and they've done a lot of trial and error, trial and error. And they've, they are brilliant. On their software, uh, I'm going to be open and honest, when I've come to do coding... Uh, on, let, for example, let's just say you have just coded an injector, okay? No problem, absolutely no problem. Does it smooth as anything? I have, however, done coding and programming on this, and this was some time ago, like uh, quite a while back, probably four months, maybe more around this time. But I'm sure there's been software and they've sorted it. But at the time that I was doing it, it was just having a bit of hiccup, so. It would kick me off the page. Um, at the end, I was able to do it, but it, there was just some, like, you know, problems here and there. But I'm sure it's all fixed, all sorted now. Again, you've got to understand, this is just coming to the game. But what it offers, it's a no-brainer. So, we'll just go through it anyway. Uh, I mean, they're both uh, Bluetooth uh, connection rather than hardware. So, the K10 uh, has 41 languages. Okay, and the the launch has 25 languages, so you could just see the difference uh, you're already getting there. Um, and difference in terms of software between the Pro uh, and the K10. The K10 Pro has about, well, should we say 40, 40 reset functions, while the Pro TT has 37 reset functions. Um, in all honesty, in every angle, that's better. Um, and the K10 Pro has a topology map function map. So I've not plugged it into a car, but you will see on my other videos how you've got the sort of, um, the way the way it shows uh, the fault codes, how it brings it like a tree diagram all the way down, whereas that is all a list. Um, so that is quite good. And I know on my hotel it had it, but on the standard hotels that were about, uh, you know, a grand, 1500 it didn't have that function. You only get it on the top end stuff and that has it. So that's equivalent to a three grand hotel. Okay, so can't go wrong. The K10, uh, the K10 Pro has six expansion modules, the scope, the endoscope, battery tester, TPMS, ADAS and Wi-Fi printer. Uh, while the Pro TT, so this one here, has 10 expansion modules, uh, Pro TT has ST22 sensor multimeter, Key programmer 
and Emo extender modules which are not included on K10 Pro. So you can see the difference in that sense from that to that. Uh, the K10 Pro has more car brands and car mo uh, models uh, coverage range than the Pro TT. So I have realized that as well when I plugged it into the machine, um, plugged the OBD in, um, I realized it was giving me cars that I didn't even know existed. So, you know, obviously these things are made in China and all around the world. And you got to understand there were, there were some models, I'll be honest, I, that I've never come across in my entire life. I don't even think I've seen them. So, and that had it. This doesn't. This is very good for Europe and whatnot. And this is as well, but you got to understand there are some models in America, um, in, in Asia, in, in most countries. Uh, reality is, guys, it would be a no-brainer to not get this. If I had the money and they said, here's, let's say, I don't know, a grand to spend, if that, I wouldn't think twice. The K10 is quite good. Like I said, there was some software issues, but everything's trial and error. Um, it's all about keeping up to date and making sure you've got the right software on there. But they have eliminated it. It's all sorted, all good. Um, there's no issues. And the launch is good, but you got to understand, these have been out for years. Um, they've done a lot of trial and errors. It does the job, but yeah, I'll leave it in your in your in your court. Um, you guys, let me know what you think, and by all means, comment. I will try and get back to you all as soon as I can. Obviously, there's uh, tens and tens of comments coming through every day, a lot more than that, really. But uh, I'll try and get back to you all. Thank you all for looking.